Hi, uh, my name's Aiden. I'm 22 years old. I'm a student and I'm here to talk today about my experience with climate strikes. I became involved in the climate strikes uh, alongside my friends. We were inspired by the work of other student activists across the world and we came together and created an organization called the Sackville Youth Climate Change Coalition, which incorporated young organizers from every school in our small community. So to my fellow young people and students out there, people who are interested in making a difference, if you're wanting to have your voice heard right now, from September 20th to 27th, there will be climate strikes going on across Canada, and that would be an amazing time for you to get involved. What's really important for us right now is to be talking to each other, to be getting our peers and our community members on board, and making sure that we, as young people, are speaking with a united voice that the future that we are facing is not one that we can live in, and that we need to make a difference today. So there are so many ways that all of us can become involved in making these climate strikes a reality. Parents, this is a movement that is being led by young people, but we still need and appreciate your support. What I have found in my time organizing climate strikes is that oftentimes the institutions that young people are active in are not supportive um, and not appreciative of the work that we're trying to do. Schools especially, um, administrators and teachers are often not receptive or supportive to young people doing their best to organize climate strikes. So we always appreciate when parents take the time to make sure that they are communicating to administrators. To all my churches and faith-based communities out there, there are so many ways that you can get involved as well. Um, if you'd be willing to, make sure that you're able to open up your spaces to people who are looking to organize climate strikes. Um, and other points of activism like that. Um, additionally, you can always look into your community um, and into the world for organizations that are trying to make a difference in people's lives right now and see how they'll be able to use donations of money, of time, of energy, and of love at this point in our history. I participate in climate activism and climate strikes both because of my concern for the future that I face and the future that my peers and my family face but also because I am a Christian. And Christians are called to live with respect in creation, to defend creation. And I think of the second verse of Genesis when God is described as hovering like wind over the water. And that is the essence of what creation is, our wind, our air, our breath, our water, our flowing rivers, our oceans. And how can we call ourselves stewards of creation, shepherds of this earth? If that essential building block of creation, the air and the water, is being turned every day into toxic sludge and poison. One of the reasons that these climate strikes are so important is because, as we all know, change needs to happen in order for this world to be livable in the future. And yet, where change needs to happen most, we're not seeing change. So these climate strikes are a way that we young people are raising our voices so that we can be heard at the level of our governments, our local governments, our provincial governments, our federal government, because change doesn't happen without people demanding it. So for anybody that is looking to get involved or informed, there are organizations out there that are eager to help us build this movement. So organizations like 350.org and Fridays for Future are great resources for people who are looking to participate in climate strikes, in climate activism, or learn more about how people are trying to change the world today. So, as we all know, this world needs the change. Something needs to be done, and it needs to have been done 10 years ago. So if you're going to stand up, if you're going to speak out, now's the time to do so. And I invite you to join myself, I invite you to join the millions of other young people across the world that are trying to make a difference right now as we try to make this world a brighter place for everyone. Thanks so much.